So 95 divided by 5, so I've got 95, and I'm dividing it by 5. So I'm looking for groups of 5, so I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then in the 1s column, I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I do that because I've got a 5 here, and I've got a 9 here. So in my... Um, Tens column, I've got a nine, and within nine there is one group of five. Okay, and I'm going to represent that pair with a one. And then the other um, tens will get regrouped across. So this one is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this one is going to be one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if we were to do that at the top um, using the numbers, what we would have done is written a little four here to show that that has become 45 now, it's regrouped. So if I now draw my circles to show how many groups of five, I've got one group of five, two groups, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the nine would go here, which means my total is 19.